Hi everyone, Jay Witty here. Hope you all are having a great day. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm glad you're here. So this is from my previous pour, um, my theme park inspired pour. Um, these are the dried results. Um, unfortunately, it had, it had not dried in time for me to upload my last video. So um, my son and I spent a day last week park hopping between Islands of Adventure and Universal Studios. And this pour was inspired by Zeus Landing. So it is entitled Zeus, very colorful part of the park. And so I came home so inspired by that. And so that's how this pour became what it is. <laughs> so there you have it. Um, I think it turned out pretty cool. I'm really happy with this pour. So today, guys, we're down on the canvas. Uh, this is a 16 by 20. Uh, I did put a coat of paint on top just so that none of the white would show through. The first color I'm using is Liquitex Basics Brilliant Purple. It's a really pretty shade, uh, just a real uh, light, light purple. It's just so pretty. Uh, the next <clears throat> color I'm using is the Liquitex Basics Prism Violet, which is a very deep, uh, just luscious color. Look at that. Mm -mm -mm. And look at my um, consistency is a um, mound on a mound that quickly uh, falls back into the cup. My next color is a blend. It's a custom blend of Liquitex Basics Gold, Deco Art Extreme Sheen 24 Karat Gold, and Modern Masters Gold Rush. So, almost looks yellow on the screen to me, but it, it is gold. And then my next color is Liquitex Basics Quinacridone Magenta. Look how bright and vibrant that is. Just love it. Love, love, love. And then finally, the last one here is Liquitex Basics, and I cannot say that word to save my life, green. That's why it's on the screen, as you see there. <laughs> I just get all tongue-tied trying to say it. So anyways, all of these colors are listed in the description box down below. Just tap on the title. It'll take you right there. The pouring medium that I used... Um, uh, is, uh, I think, uh, yeah, it's, I did two parts flow trawl to one part Liquitex pouring medium effects to half a part Liquitex iridescent medium and all of the colors with the exception of the gold does not, the gold doesn't have the iridescent medium. And then a squirt of GAC 800. So I begin to layer up my cup and I got a little bit sloppy. So sorry about that. And uh, I end up ultimately doing four uh, pours on this canvas <laughs> because I wasn't happy with what was transpiring. And it wasn't until that third pour, and like they say, third, third time's a charm, uh, where I was getting to, uh, I got results that I was really excited to see happen. I mean, that's when the magic kicked in on that third time. So, um, and then the fourth pour was just the icing on the cake. So I started out not real happy uh, and ended up absolutely thrilled. So, and, and you'll see why. Uh, just stick with it. Uh, it's a lot of fun to watch. Um, so my wrecked ring pour turned into a traveling ring pour, but you know, you just don't know with fluid art. You just don't know what you're going to get. And I think that's part of the excitement and, and fun in doing this. So I do take you in at the end of the video uh, to show you the wet results and the dried results. And like I said, if you're new to my channel, welcome. I invite you to subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell, guys, for future uploads. I'm going to stop talking now and let you watch the rest of this video. Um, don't forget to drop me a comment down below and let me know what you think. And give me a thumbs up, guys. That all, all of that helps my channel to grow. I am just so appreciative. Uh, appreciative of each and every one of you. So until next time, guys, stay safe, take care, and blessings to you all. Bye-bye.